What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. Now with this video, we are jumping into something new. We are jumping into Wastelanders Wolverine issue number one. And what we are seeing is the return of the Wasteland's old man Logan. Now the story goes that supervillains, they united. They took out most of the world's superheroes decades ago. And while the man known as Logan attempted to live in peace, this is something that would not come for him. And now he finds himself in the Wastelands, a brutal landscape nearly devoid of any hope. And with this series, we are going to get the stories of those individuals that are left alive in this apocalyptic world. And so with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this one-shot issue, we are picking up in the Wastelands. Currently near the eastern border of the former territory known as Hulkland Territory. Now, for Logan traversing this landscape, traversing this wasteland, it can be very daunting. It can weigh very heavily on you. And if you're not someone like him, going days without food, going days without water, it may not be a big deal for Logan, but his young traveling companion has been wailing and crying for days now. And that young traveling companion is Baby Hulk. Being given the name Bruce, right now Bruce is a little bit emotional. And that is because for as long as old man Logan has not drank or ate, Baby Hulk has not ate for or drank for the same amount of time. The only issue is, with his set of lungs, with how loud he is being, it is only a matter of time before it draws some unwanted attention. And so as they go ahead and they camp up for the night, starting up a fire, we have old man Logan reminiscing about the past, letting us know that half a century ago, the bad guys, they finally got smart and they grouped up, they united as one. And Mysterio made Wolverine believe that he was killing Doc Ock, killing him and the rest of them only to find out that he was actually killing his friends. And so because of this, he sheathed his claws, swore never to hurt another living person for the rest of his life. With him wandering for years, he eventually falls in love with a woman. They raised a family, and he was happier than he could ever have actually imagined him being. That is, until Banner's grandkids, they came and took it all away. And so because of that, he did the one thing he swore he would never do again. He let out his claws, and he did what he does best. He took care of every single one of those banners, with the baby Hulk being the only individual to be spared from this massacre. And every day, Logan has to question himself, ask himself, is this a mistake? Is bringing this baby Hulk into this world going to be the downfall of everything? What if Bruce Banner is just too much inside of this child? If he winds up being like his father, what is left of this wasteland will come under tremendous turmoil. But forcing these thoughts from his head, he recognizes that they have some company. That company being the Ghost Riders. Now, of course, these guys aren't the actual Ghost Riders. These are just wannabe thugs going over this entire territory, trying to claim what is theirs and what isn't. Letting Logan know that they are in Ghost Rider territory, and because of that, they need to get out of here now, or there are going to be consequences and repercussions. Now, this is not the old man Logan who decided to retract his claws and no longer fight anyone. This is a Logan. This is a Logan who now has something to protect. He has baby Bruce. And nobody, not even these wannabe Ghost Rider cannibals, are going to be the one to take him away. And so with him dicing these guys to pieces, we see baby Bruce, he ends up grabbing an arm and starts chomping away at it. With him being absolutely starved for food, Logan has to take it away from him. 
and this is one of the things that Logan fears about. He fears that the Hulk is just going to start eating everybody. But with him taking away, the little one cries for the rest of the night. Cries all through the night until he tuckers himself out. Now Logan approaching a town, he goes into this place to do a little bit of investigation. Maybe they have some food, maybe they have some shelter just for the evening. Maybe a safe spot where they can just lay low for the time being. But as he goes into this town, it appears that someone has already come through here. And that is because there are civilians scattered across the roads. Someone came in here and did a crap ton of damage. And with Logan's senses screaming at him, he puts baby Bruce down. Putting the baby down, this is where, through a wall, appears to be some kind of giant Iron Man type suit. And whoever is inside this suit, they have a bone to pick with Logan. Whoever this is has been tracking him for quite some time now. Knowing that this town would be his next stop, he decided to get ahead of him. Now Logan, he doesn't even care who is inside of this tin can. He is going to open it up, he is going to pry out whoever is inside, and he is going to make them pay for all of the damage that they have already done. And with Logan going in, taking his claws, trying to pry this armor open, we see that his claws, they just chink off of it. And that is because this suit is a special suit. With Logan getting punched in the face and getting knocked back tons and tons of yards, going through a car, going through a building, with our man in the suit charging full force at Logan, letting him know that his claws will not work because this suit is an adamantium suit. This is adamantium armor. And so with our adamantium armored suited individual picking Logan up, letting him know he's going to pick him to pieces, Logan takes the opportunity to take out the weak spots, to take out the joints, to take out the bad welding jobs, locating the weak spots on this suit, being able to open up the head, opening up the face mask, we are learning that this is in fact Bruce Banner. Now of course Logan he has to ask the question how? How the heck is this even possible? But at the end of the day Banner has more PhDs than Wolverine has claws. This suit was always a contingency. It was the backup plan with the Tinkerer giving him a little bit of hand and eating him directly afterwards. This suit is very unique because this little beauty, it does not run on Stark Tech. It pulls juice straight from gamma radiation that Bruce Banner's cells are producing. And so the matter he gets, the bigger this adamantium armor gets, the stronger his armor gets. Now Logan at this point, he's recognizing that he might have met his match here. There is a good opportunity for Bruce Banner to end Logan's life right here and right now. With Banner just straight pummeling him into the ground. This is where baby Bruce starts to wake up. With baby Bruce waking up, he looks over and he sees his father calling out to his dad. Seeing what is happening, Logan thinks to himself that he was right. The kid is exactly like his father. And this is where we see baby Hulk. He gets super strong. He gets super angry. He runs over and he knocks off the head of Bruce Banner. Because his father, or at least to baby Bruce, his daddy is Logan. And what he saw was his dad getting beaten up. Getting beaten to a pulp. And so he came in and he saved the day. And so with Bruce Banner now being defeated... Logan really could just end all of this right here and right now. Drive his claws right through the rotten brain of Bruce Banner. But Logan believes that is too much of a kindness. And so he digs a grave. And inside this grave, this is where he places the head of Bruce. And Logan lets him know that this will be his punishment. He will be buried here, never to be found again. Logan telling him he is going to bury a tree directly above him. 
and the roots they will begin to grow over the years, making their way into his skull, making their way into his flesh. His death will be very slow, it will be very painful, and one day, Logan will return, years from now, and he will sit under that tree, and he will enjoy the shade, with his son by his side. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Now, our next one shot, it is going to be Wastelander's Hawkeye. We're going to see how he is doing in the Wasteland after all of these years. But this really is a great continuation story from the Wastelanders that we had seen previously. And I think it is also very fitting for Logan to have baby Bruce. This is more or less his penance for doing everything bad he has done in his life. For all of the mistakes he has made, he feels like maybe this is it. Maybe this is my redemption. Being able to let this baby Bruce live and teach him how not to become the monster that Bruce Banner and all his followers once did. This is their opportunity to do it different. This is their opportunity to have a true savior for the wastelands. Now, of course, this comes with phenomenal risk because all it takes is him getting into his older ages and flipping the switch and becoming Bruce Banner. And so after reading this one, I really am looking forward to this continuation stories of following our different heroes throughout the wastelands, finding out where they landed, how they ended up, what's going on with them currently. Now, this is technically a one shot, but man, would I love to see some more of Baby Hulk and Old Man Logan. I think that is just the most awesome dynamic duo that you can put together, especially in a post-apocalyptic world, which you guys know has been one of my favorites of stories, of genres of stories, for as long as I can remember. So this story is 100% right up my alley. The artwork, you know, it's got a, it's not really my style, but it also doesn't kill the story for me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.